Okay, okay, I think you get the point. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Retro Show, and in today's episode, we will be covering the best-selling PS1 game of all time, which is Gran Turismo, the real driving simulator, the original uh, Gran Turismo game, which is still going on strong today, still very high in the best-selling PS4 games, uh, Gran Turismo Sport. So let's go into Gran Turismo mode. I've never actually played this game before, so I'm interested in, in, in seeing what it's like. Um, I do just need to uh, change the controller settings to uh, analog mode um, while I remember. And uh, there's lots of stuff here. There's Aston Martin. I think that's probably what I'm going to go for. Um, so shall we go into Aston Martin? Uh, new car. So there's the DB7. Uh, Volante. Uh, do we do we have any money? No, we have ten thousand credits. I don't think we can we can quite afford this. <clears throat> Will you buy? Yeah. You don't have enough money yet. It gave me the hope. <laughs> um. Oh. Well, where can we buy a car from then? Nissan, perhaps. Oh, hold on. There might be a used car from Aston Martin. Nah. There isn't. You can get a used car from Nissan, though. Ah, these are a bit more reasonably priced. There's a Pulsar. Ah, it's a bit too expensive for us. Um... What about Honda? Used car. There we go. Let's go for the Civic. Let's just do it. Oh, look at that. Look at that beauty there. Let's buy it. Why not? Let's go. And uh, we'll, we'll go and race. Lots of menus in this game. So there's time trial, there's spot race. I just have no idea what I'm doing here. Let's go into the GT Cup and just see how we do. Uh, I'm, I'm very impressed though. Oh, we need a an A-grade license. Okay. Is that for anything? Um, Grand Valley. Sounds like a cool one. Hey, looks like we can enter this one so hopefully you guys are good thank you for all the support on the video earlier in the week grand theft auto san andreas if you haven't seen it there will be a little card in the top right corner to take you to the whole playlist of the retro show uh, where we started with spyro the dragon over on my main channel uh, and, and we relaunched as captain goodspeed retro and uh, did the um grand theft auto game on uh, on Monday night, so thank you for all the support on that automatic transition or oh, transmission, I should say. Um, we'll have a, about a 20 minute look at this game. Look at these graphics, dearie me. But to be honest, uh, it's quite good for the time. All right, so the the controls are virtually the same as what they are now, but we're very slow. <laughs> um, there's actually. I don't, I don't think there's anybody else in this race, unfortunately, so we're not going to see any AI racing. Um, oh, you can see the light on, uh, lighting up. Whoop. I'll tell you what, though, it, it, it's handling pretty well for a, a PS1 game. And this was released uh, back in 1998, I think, so it's slightly younger than me. I was born in 97. But I will let you know later in the video whether that is actually the case, whether it was 1998. That's a, I mean, it, it's it's handling lovely until we crash it. But we're going through the tunnel now. And we can look behind us as well. It's always fun. The circle is still the handbrake. I love how the controls are exactly the same in. Um, 2018 in, in the GT Sport, you 
you can pick X to accelerate square to break and stuff. Most people use the triggers. I actually use the analog sticks, uh, which I know a lot of people will disagree with. But coming up to the finish line now, and that is a, a first lap on Gran Turismo, the real driving simulator. And we're coming up to the line, and there we go, finished with a, a 137.3. So let's have a look at when this game was released. 1997, in fact, I think, or 98. It's one of the two. I'll look it up. Um, but yeah, fabulous game, best selling of all time. Goodness me, look how slow we are. 18 and a half seconds off the, the pace. So we're going to have to improve that. Um, I don't think we can make 18 seconds up. Shall we change the setup a bit? Oh, I mean the turbo boost. And no, we haven't got any of that. So I, I think we come out of this. I don't think we can win this one yet. Um... I mean, 18 and a half seconds is a long time to make up. You know, I, I think we could pr probably make three or four seconds up, but 18 is a is a bit of a, a bit of a push. Um, so we'll maybe not do a time trial. Um, or oh, is that the spot race special event? Why not do that? So, um, UK versus Japan. Uh, an A grade license, so it looks like we need a, a license. So, shall we go back and, and sort out our license? Let's get an A class. Uh, oh dear, practical corner. Let's do the final test and see if we can do it. Oh, you've got to pass the ball, that's stupid. Oh, we got to. Ah, <laughs> we need a B grade. Ah, oh, no. Oh, no. Let's, let's get rid of that. Um. I mean, we, we can do time trial. Is there any... What about the autumn mini? Oh, hold on. The test course. Let's do the test course. I think that, that one should be fine for us. It looks like an oval. We might be able to do alright in this. But then I think it's the straight line speed of the car that's the problem. So I think we bought the wrong car. But who cares? Let's just do it. But yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys had this game. Um, I certainly didn't. I, I haven't had it. I think I had Gran Turismo 6. I think that was the first one I bought. I know that's probably a crime. Um, but it just never appealed to me. But here we go. We're off. Let's change the view again. Have a look. I mean, I, I think the graphics are pretty decent for PS1. You know, the, the frame rate is is fairly good as well. Obviously, this uh, it's very pixely, but you know, we're on modern systems now, and um, the render distance isn't the best. But you know, you can just about make stuff out. Right. Let's see how this handles round a, 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 a bank. It's like the old Monza. Deary me, it's not handling well. It's handling just about okay. Right, I don't know what the fastest lap is. But we've got uh, two laps to do it in. So we've got obviously the first lap and the second lap. The second lap should, th in theory, be a bit quicker. But, uh, I mean, we're going 237Ks here. It certainly isn't bad for a Civic. Now we've lost a bit of momentum, and you can't afford to do that in these races. It's so imperative that you're just as clean as possible. Here we go. On to the... The pit straight, as it were. A 138.6, so that's a red time. Let's see if we can improve it. I mean, we're hitting top speed. 
240k now. Subtle changes of direction. Try and hold it at 130, uh, 235. A little longer. Come on. See the mountains in the background. That was a really, really good corner. I think this is going to smash our previous time if we can repeat that on the other bank. That is going to absolutely smash our previous time. 245 k's now. This is impressive pace here we go oh no we hit the grass again no and that's lost us 30k there ah oh, we were doing so well as well and now we've just lost all of that momentum ah oh, that is criminal absolutely criminal but look at how much time we've made up 16 seconds wow i don't want to replay stop there we go new record there Let's just end that. I'm not bothered about posting times. Um, I want to race with the drivers. I don't want to be just on my own on the on the racetrack. Maybe we should do some of these tests then, shouldn't we? A bit more meaning to them, isn't there? So. B license. Starting and stopping. I mean, seriously? How stupid is this? I bet you we won't be able to do it, but uh, I mean, at least it, it, it gets you going, I guess, in, in the game. But um, yeah, this was uh, the best selling uh, PS1 game of all time. I think about 12 million copies were sold worldwide, which is very impressive. We're away. I don't know exactly what we're doing. I, I didn't see any instructions. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I've just seen 400, 500 meters. I mean, surely we've got to stop at some point. I don't know what's happening. Ah, I think you've got to... Okay. I think we have to... Ah, the, the, here we go. Accelerate away. Um, okay. So we've got to we've got to come to a stop. It's like the, the old Youth Academy or Young Drivers Test or whatever it was in um, F1 2012. I'll see about stopping in the blue area so I think we should be able to do that this car isn't very fast um, and me saying it was all so easy 400 meters 500 meters 600 so it's at the thousand meters so at about 900 will probably start coming to a stop here we go yeah probably slowing down too quick but there we go. You failed? Right. Within the goal area situated a thousand meters away, you will fail if you overrun or if you exceed the time limit. Ah, okay. So the time limit's 36 seconds. Right, third time, lucky guys. Right, let's try and start a bit slower this time. I don't see how we can go any quicker. But I'm assuming we must have just went over the uh, over the edge before. 500, 600. This is going to be tight again. Seven, eight, 
nine. No, we're not quite in the section. That is so desperately sad. We failed again. This is just terrible. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. We're going to do it this time, guys. I promise you. I just don't get how uh, that last time we weren't in. But it, it, it doesn't give you a lot of time to fail. We were on about 34 and a half seconds when we uh, came to a stop. 20 seconds gone. Come on. Stop. Stop. Yes, we've done it. Well done. Well done. You win silver. Enough for that. Right. Try session two. Okay. So we'll do maybe one or two more of these. That's a nice car, isn't it? I don't know what we're doing this time, but I assume we're stopping again. I mean, to be fair, we didn't actually read what we were meant to do. The car in this test is okay. Also, 27 seconds. Ah. Well, apparently, apparently we didn't do it in the time limit. That's that was the problem. Here we go. Gotta do it this time. Oh my god, that's we've overshot that massively. Wow. <sighs> if we complete it this time, I'll be so happy. Well, let me know if you'd like me to do any stuff on the on GT Sport on the on the main channel. Um, I'd certainly be up for doing that. It's a it's a fun game. 300 meters. 400, come on. Five. This has got to be the time. Right, so. Start at 900 this time. Oh, we just did it. Six seconds. Uh, six tenths in. That was close. Right, let's do one more. Basics of cornering. Right, let's actually read the thing this time. I think that's possibly what was. Our trouble the last two times is that we didn't actually know what we were meant to be doing. Accelerate away from the starting point down the straights, go around the first corner, and then go through the finishing gate on top of the hill. Try and keep a smooth racing line. You will fail if you leave the track. The test car is a Honda CRX Del Sol. Uh, the time limit is 30 seconds, so... This car looks quite nice as well. Lights out, away we go. Not a good good start from the Honda. Right, which way are we going? Left, I'm assuming. So this is towards the end of the, the lap, if you remember. Oh, we nearly failed there. We nearly failed. The time limit's 30 seconds. We're not we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Ah, desperately sad. Desperately sad. And one and a half seconds, and we lost that in the corner. But uh, I mean, we could do it. We could do it flat at what was it, 250 k's or whatever we were doing. And this car couldn't do it at uh, 
something like 140, so I blame the game, not me. Let's try and get around this corner this time. Much smoother around there. We still might not quite do it. And the nails a struggle, but we have done it. 29 seconds and we get bronze, that's poor. Shall we try one more? Basics of corner in two. Okay. 22 minutes the video has gone for. That's fine. Accelerating away, blah, blah, blah. So, it's just a different car this time. Good old Nissan. And we're away. Here we go. Come on. So it was 26 seconds this time, I think. Oh, look at this drift. Look at this drift. What a corner that was. Come on. We gotta do it quick. Oh my goodness, seven tenths in. We're on a roll here. We're on a roll. Basics of corner and three. I'm getting into this. So this time we're in a Mitsubishi. 25 seconds this time. So we're just getting in better and better cars. Come on. Oh, a bit of oversteer there and we're off the track. That was uh, annoying. But the loading times in this game are virtually nothing. You know, that that is, is the thing that puts people off doing all the games now, is the amount of time you have to wait in the loading screen. But uh, it's not the case with this game. It's really, really slick. Um, just like our driving. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, again, a little bit of oversteer, but we managed to make it through the turn 25 seconds is the limit we're coming through now with a 24.2 come on let's get with B license in this episode basics of multiple corners okay so what we gotta do this time I'm, I'm guessing we're just doing both corners um, 28 seconds okay Nice car. Same one. Uh, no, I don't think it is quite the same car as last time. So we're going through an S bend this time. It looks like we're going right first. Okay. Oh, look at that. Hitting the curb beautifully and coming through now. This is our best one yet. 26.9 we did pass surely we got gold oh, silver all right that was that was just a lovely turn what are we in this time in this all in this end so I think 27 seconds this time wasn't it we did it in 26.2 last time so should hopefully be able to do it <clears throat> a little bit quicker this time. Oh, it's hugging the track beautifully. That was fabulous. Look at this. A 26.4. Only six tenths inside the, the limit though. How do, how do you do any better on that? That was really, really good. Right, test for B license. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Gotta do it this time. Uh, this is the time attack on the full course, high speed ring. Uh, start from a stationary position and complete a lap 
Um, so we're in a Mazda this time. One minute, 22 seconds. Lights out, away we go here at the high speed racing ring, whatever it was called. Doesn't look like they've got any licensed tracks on this game, but to have as many licensed cars as they do, um, you know, for a first game in the franchise, is mightily impressive. Um, but they were backed by Sony, of course, so I guess anything was possible. I don't know what this is on the left hand side, coming up to the corner, drifting it round. Really good driving there. The music is incredibly loud, I wish, I could, I wish I'd just turned it off. Oh, look at this. Beautiful through my favourite part of the circuit. Just clip the curb on the inside a little bit and drift out wide. This is a masterclass in driving. This is as if I'm the Stig or something. <laughs> All coming round. Final couple of corners, I think. I think this might be the last corner. What was it? One minute, 20 seconds. And here we come onto the pit straight. Are we going to manage to do it? Yes, we are. Are we? Please. Oh, it must must have been one minute 22. That was really, really close. We win silver and we win our driving license. There we go. B license acquired. Let's just have a, a final look to see if we can do any racing with the AI. I know it's been a longer uh, edition of the retro show today, but it would be wrong of me to not uh, to not include a race with at least some humans um, so go race uh, GT League aha the Sunday Cup let's see let's see how we do in this But I've really enjoyed this. Uh, it's it's grown on me a lot throughout the, the 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 episode. So really, really happy. Um, oh, stop qualifying. Do we have to? Apparently, we have to qualify. <sighs> Nothing's easy, is it? Doesn't look like a very big track, though. So. Let's go in our Honda Civic. Significantly worse car than we've had in the driving school, naturally. Come on. Ooh. We only have one lap to qualify, so it shouldn't be too bad. Ooh. That's okay. Through this little tight section here. It's going to be fun on race day. Coming around the final turn now. Here we come up to the line. What's it going to be? It's going to be a 53 flat. And where's that going to keep us snowed out? We're going to be about 18 seconds off the pace or something silly like that. Um, seven seconds off the pace. Ah, oh, dear. Ah, oh, dearie me. That was absolutely terrible. Start race. I think we're going to finish dead last here, guys. <laughs> but it'll be fun. We'll try and crash into some people as well. But see what the AI is like. In this game, that'll be interesting, I think. And we're away for this race. And, you know, to be honest, we're not doing too badly from the start. We make an overtake. Goodness me. We're up to fifth position. I don't want a nosebleed, though. Way we dive down the inside and make some more contact here. Look at this. This is pure racing on the grass. We're just bouncing him. 
we're up to third podium finish. As it stands, we're coming through now. There's, there's two laps of this race. You never know what can happen. We could crazily win this Grand Prix, I'm going to call it. Coming up to the start-finish line now. Start on the second lap. Oh, we go. We make contact. Look at this behind. He's going through. We're going to go down the inside here. Dive bomb for the lead. We're in the second. This is crazy. How is our Honda Civic doing this? We're going to go back into this view. We're three wide here. Coming into the final couple of corners. Or oh, this sort of twisty section, isn't it? It's not, it's not really a couple of corners, but it is the sort of end section of the race. Oh, we come round the final corner. It doesn't look like we've got the pace to win the Grand Prix, but from sixth position, we finished second. What a fabulous Grand Prix that was for us. A 44.5 was our fastest lap. That perhaps shows that our uh, pace in qualifying was, was not that good, but we go to second in the championship, and I think that is where we are going to leave this episode so if you have enjoyed this edition of the retro show then make sure you do leave a like down below it really does help me out it means a lot to me as well subscribe if you'd like to see more retro gaming content and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye